more energy. And you're like, Lene, how? Trust me. <clears throat> you thought that this energy before was up and vibing, girl. You ain't seen nothing yet. All of this I got for you. Tanae's News. This is the channel where I report news about my life while being open, honest, and transparent as much as possible. So as you guys can see by today's title, it's another update video. This is my second month post op. Cannot believe it. This is going by so fast. Your girl is looking snatch. But enough of the dramatics i wanted to give you guys another update video to let you guys know how it's still going how is my recovery how is post-op how is everything going because i wanted to share with you guys the changes that has been happening since month one and since the beginning of surgery so before i get started on today's video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell button so you never miss an upload Okay, let's get started. Everything written out on my phone because I have so much to catch you guys up on on the changes that's been happening and everything that I've been eating, the things that I've liked that I thought I would never like, and the things from month one that canceled out. So, first things first, I started this journey with taking the Bariatric Pal Chewables. No. I don't know... If the taste was just not hitting me right, but it just got to a point where I'm like, Linnea, these are disgusting. But I spent all the money, all that money on it. So you're going to finish them. Like you suck it up, finish it. And I ended up talking to my doctor and I ended up switching to the Veta Fusion vitamins because I don't know my body can't take pill anything. So when it came to taking my vitamins, I was very particular of chick it's gonna have to be gummies because I can't swallow I can't do all the grindy chew like the bariatric pals no shade to anybody that's taking them it just didn't fit this party right so I had to switch out of those I've been taking the same multivitamins that I've been taking since after surgery and it's chef kits amazing I've just switched my calcium vitamins and once I switch been the best thing I've ever did next thing that I've still been doing burping when I tell y'all I could burp in the middle of a conversation and it'd be deadly, gross. Because, of course, before, like, I've noticed me burping and I would do one of those. But when I tell you these gastric sleeve burps, y'all, be coming from my toes, making its way up to my shoulders and then out my mouth. Because it'd be one of the, like, one of those. And with burping, I just never notice how intense it can be. And I... I burp drinking water, I burp in the middle of talking, I burp in the middle of eating, I burp you name it. I'm sorry to all my friends when we've been out at restaurants and it just came out of nowhere because it's literally that's where it came from and I apologize. I'm doing better but burping is still a thing for me when it comes from my soul. Like it's it, it don't be Linnea burping, it be Sarah. Because I don't know where that burp be coming from, but it be coming. Something that I've also noticed that I've had to be mindful of is no longer being able to drink and eat at the same time. And when you go out to restaurants, at least for me before surgery, I would take a small bite, drink some water. I would take a small bite, have a glass of whatever I was drinking. With this surgery, you cannot do it interchangeably. You literally have to do one of the other and wait I believe 30 minutes in between to then do the next thing of whatever you're doing. So for me, I tend to drink a lot of water or whatever I'm drinking. Me personally, I can no longer drink water, just water by itself. I have to mix it with Crystal Light. It just tastes different to me now. I'm not really sure where those changes came from. So for me, I tend to drink my water with Crystal Light and then eat versus doing it the other way around because I find that I'm able to get my fluids in and I'm able to just monitor how much that I'm drinking so I'm able to get all my fluids in at the end of the day. Next thing that I've noticed, more energy. And you're like, Linnea, how? Trust me. <clears throat> you thought that this energy before was up and vibing, girl. You ain't seen nothing yet. All of this I got for you. I have so much energy and I'm not sure if it's because of the weight I'm not sure if it's because 
of my confidence level is at an all-time high. I'm not sure what it is, but I love it over here. I have so much energy. Even my friends have noticed, family, everyone have noticed that I'm much lighter on my feet, so to speak, and I have a lot more energy than I have had in the past, and I love it over here. Next thing, this is probably a little TMI, so if you're a guy watching this, probably skip like two minutes. So, this month, I started my menstrual cycle. I cannot tell y'all the last time I had a cycle. It feels like it was ages ago. And when I first got it, I was like, I remember calling two of my girlfriends and I was just like, what the hell? What, 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 what the hell? Like, I'm a woman again. What, what's going on here? And I remember calling my doctor and telling her and I'm just like, doctor, I think, what's going on here? Let me know. And she told me it's typically normal. It's nothing to worry about. It's my body is now getting back to, let's say, pre-heavy weight, if that makes sense. And I'm able to normalize like my hormones and everything like that. So I'm going to start having a cycle. I never thought I'll be so excited to cramp and be in pain and be bloated for like three, four days. But I'm really excited for those things because I haven't had a cycle and I can't even tell you guys the last time because I'll keep going and counting on my fingers and lose fingers. So that's how long it's been and I'm just so excited for that. Now on to the favorite foods that I like. I love eggs. I've always was a fan of eggs but egg salad, scrambled, an omelet, you name it, eggs. It's my thing, girl. And then also what I've been pairing it with is like sliced mozzarella cheese. Anybody that knows me, you could not pay me to have anything besides cheddar cheese before surgery. I was cheddar cheese and galore. Now, mozzarella, a slice, or a string cheese, y'all, it, it tastes like heaven. If I want to know what heaven tastes like, taste a mozzarella cheese because it, it, it's close to it. I've never thought that I would like it, and I love it now, and I have it every day relatively. And, y'all, it tastes so good. Fire. Now, the next thing, it's a shocker. I'm almost scared to say it. Y'all, family, I like cauliflower. That's it, I'm out. Who would have thought? Who would have thought this girl that loves spinach and broccoli would like cauliflower? Cauliflower? Girl. Y'all, boys, homies, cauliflower tastes the... You hear me? I have, like, cauliflower stir rice, and it's usually with, like, cauliflower, some carrots, not much, and also a little bit of broccoli. But that cauliflower, y'all be hitting. You hear me? Taste some cauliflower and see if it don't change your life, y'all. See if it won't change your life, because it changed mine, as you can see. Chloe... Now, some of the areas that I've noticed my weight loss. I've noticed my weight loss in my face. Of course, I've noticed it in my stomach. But somewhere new that I've noticed my weight loss is my legs. I've noticed just me look slimmer and not as heavy. And heavy in the sense of being like a Pepto-Bismol bottle kind of thing. That's the only analogy that it comes to my head. And I love it. I remember laying in the bed a couple of weeks ago and I was just like, hold up. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, gastric. What you doing down there? And I've noticed it. And I remember asking my mom, I think, yesterday about it. And she was like, now that you mention it, you do it. I'm like, <laughs> That's what this surgery will do to you. It will make and break you and snap you in pieces that you never thought you could, girl. And I love it over here. <laughs> Another thing that I've noticed was that I'm wearing clothes and it feels so much lighter. It feels like some of my tops that I wore post-surgery is starting to come off. Even some of my bra straps, I'm having to tighten it a little bit more because I'm still not at the point where I want to 
splurge on all of these clothes that I know in two, three months I won't be able to fit. And I've been very cautious. I've been buying like legging sets, two pieces, things that I can like get up and go kind of clothes because I'm not at the point yet when I want to splurge on all of these clothes that I know I'm not going to be able to fit. But I know by like month three, four, five, girl, you can't, you ain't going to be able to wear them clothes anymore. In a minute, them clothes going to be wearing you, okay? So I know eventually I'll have to start looking in different stores and just going back to the places that I shop at now and browsing the clothes variety and seeing what clothes are able to fit me. So I'm looking forward to that because it shows that the progress and everything that I'm working on is working. So I'm happy about that. And I say that because I want to say earlier this week, I had posted on my Instagram story. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me here. I'm always posting different recipes or different food hacks that I find that fits me and things that I enjoy that I hope can be helpful to you guys. But I posted a video or like my IG story of this two piece. It was like a, what is it called? Like a ruffle shirt and then the matching pants to go with it. Let me show y'all. Your sister, your auntie, whatever you want to call me, look like a baddie. You hear me? So I felt so good having being able to wear that because I brought it before surgery was even a thing. Before I even thought about it, before I even said I want to do this. And for me personally, I did not look the way I wanted to look in it. So having being able to wear that, I believe that was Monday of this week, I think, that I wore it. Y'all see, she looks snatched, okay? And I know it's going to get better from here. So those are the things that I've really noticed within myself that I'm starting to lose weight in different areas and the body is looking gorgeous. You hear me? Don't, 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 don't. You can't see it because I'm sitting down, but once you go on my IG, you will be able to see everything. Boom, boom, bam. Okay? So now to the weigh-in. Right now, I weigh, as of June 24th, today, when you're watching this, I weigh 229 pounds. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? That means if you do the math, let me do the math because I can't do it right now. 251 was my highest weight minus my current weight. I am down 22 pounds. <laughs> I'm so happy with my decision. I am so happy with how I feel. I am so happy with just everything this surgery has opened my eyes and just pushed me to work and push through that. I'm just, I'm so blessed. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm just so so many happy emotions that I cannot contain myself and to be 20 plus pounds down from my surgery weight and then to be almost 30 pounds down from my highest weight I thank God every day this is just <laughs> I'm so excited that wraps up for today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this update if you guys have any questions definitely feel free to hit me up on my Instagram or comment down below I love sharing these updates with you guys and giving you guys insight on how I'm doing because I want to share this experience with all of you but you guys know before I go I gotta give a shout out a shout out Boom. let's go to the comments we got the comments Boom. Okay. Shout out goes to Kita Scott. Shout out to you, sis. Thank you for the constant love and support. And if you would like a shout out in one of my future videos, comment down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. I ain't gonna hold y'all. This girl. This young tender right here is a bad girl. She a bad girl. She a body, 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 body. Y'all can't tell me I don't look good, y'all. Because this girl, gorgeous. <laughs>